I've heard a bit about this um, this case. First of all, for, for people that haven't heard about this, what were the law schools accused of doing exactly? Sure. The law schools were accused of, on their promotional materials and their advertising materials, and then also on their website, uh, they were accused of sort of lumping uh, graduates who had gotten part-time jobs or non-legal jobs in with the people who had gotten jobs that actually require a law degree. So the students see on the website that it says, oh, 90, 92% of these people are employed, and they think, oh, well, that means they're employed in full-time jobs where full-time high-paying jobs that require a law degree. And so um, they had accused them of essentially false advertising. Mm. And now, that's particularly specific to law school, because I, I went to graduate business school, and they, they have um, statistics too, but in business, it's such a, a, a great a catch-all area if you're basically, if you're working, you're, right. you're, you're in business, unless you're, I guess, unless you're a lawyer or a doctor or something. But, um, so what, what did the court say? Well, the court said, look, if you're a college grad, I mean, if you're going to get an MBA, you're going to need a law degree, you've already got, you know, your bachelor degree. And he said that you guys are sophisticated enough consumers to read the fine print, right? So the schools, he said, are actually following the protocol. You know, there's the National Association for Law Placement, uh, the American Bar Association. They set out these rules and guidelines. And actually, they're not very precise. So they were at least following the letter of the law, maybe, you know, if not the spirit. Did the, did the judge admonish the school in any way to say, make your marketing materials a little more clear? I mean, that seems to be sort of a reasonable expectation. Yeah. I mean, yeah, uh, absolutely. I mean, it's really struck a nerve. I mean, because there's there are students right at, I mean, the industry right now, or the profession, I should say, is, you know, it's having trouble. Everyone knows that. Uh, and so what the judge said was, you know, actually, hey, these lawsuits, I mean, I can't, you know, I'm going to throw this lawsuit out. But I can say that this has done a really good job of highlighting the issue. And, and then he made a personal plea, and he said, look, we need to do everything we can, professionally, the law schools, everyone, so we can get the most precise data out there so that you know, students that are looking into law school can make an informed decision. And I think, I think that is the, the, the is issue there is transparency, isn't it? Um, it's interesting that you've got l lawyers have been through law school suing law schools, <laughs> which are run by lawyers, and being presided over by a lawyer who's actually a judge. Yeah, I mean, right. I mean, it's, it's sort of very, very it's cannibalistic. Sort of, yeah, it's it's very interesting. Um, I wonder whether I mean, I wonder whether that played into it a lot. Did it get very legalistic um, in in the arguments, or was it pretty plain language? Because no, it seems to me a plain a pretty plain language. Yeah. Issue. So I mean, the actual claims were deceptive practices claims, right? But yeah. when it comes down to it, is it was very. I mean, it was the. The briefs written in the case, especially the lawsuit, the complaint itself came out. I mean, it was really fiery, sharp language, and it was clear. It just said you lied, you know, about about how many students you guys were placing in high-paying, long-term jobs. How many? How many <laughs> of these fine young lawyers actually did get a, a good did job? Did you say fine young lawyers? Yes, yes okay, he did. Okay. Well, actually, so that, uh, that sort of goes to the heart of it. We still don't know, right? So we know that 90 to 92 percent in the in the time, in the period that was covered in the law complaint or in the legal complaint uh, were had jobs, but we still don't know sort of what percentage of those jobs were part time, what percentage of those jobs were stipends, you know, paid for the school by the school, so like an internship. Uh, and that's, you know, I mean, that's the crux of the complaint here.